with a, a more complex curve here, let's look at finding the equation of the line tangent to the curve at 1, 1 for the curve described by x squared minus 3xy plus y squared equals negative 1. I like to do a quick check that this point even is on the curve. Notice that if x is 1 and y is 1, we get 1 squared minus 3 times 1 times 1 plus 1 squared. So we get a 1 minus 3 plus 1, which is negative 1. And in fact, that point is this point here on the curve. And so we're going to be finding the equation of the line tangent to the curve at that point. So to find the equation of that line, eventually we want to be able to use point-slope form for the equation of a line to find our equation of the tangent line as y minus f of a equals f prime of a times x minus a. We have our point a f of a, so our point a f of a is the 1, 1, but we need a slope. And I should I should, I suppose, mention here that actually this equation is not describing a function unless we restrict the domain on the function. So I think actually to be a little more accurate in my notation here, I'll call these coordinates x1 and y1 instead of referring to a function. And I'll just stick with regular point slope form for the equation of a line again instead of referring to a function here because this graph fails the vertical line test it's not representing a function okay so we do need to find a slope and so we need to find dy dx and evaluate dy dx at 1 comma 1 so our first step in using implicit differentiation is to differentiate both sides with respect to x and so I'm taking a line to just get set up to do that. And now we'll carry out the details. Derivative of x squared is 2x. We have a product of 3x and y, so we'll have to use the product rule. So first times derivative of second is 3x times derivative of y with respect to x. In other words, 3x times dy dx. Second times derivative of first is y times 3, so that's a 3y. Derivative of y squared is like a derivative of y of x, whole thing squared. It's a chain rule situation, and we get 2y dy dx. And again, to think about why that's the case, realize that we are differentiating y of x as an inner function being squared. And so we get 2 times the inner function times derivative of the inner function. On the right, derivative of negative 1 is 0. Now in step two, we want to solve for dy dx. So we group together all the terms involving dy dx and we move everything else to the right. So we have a 2y minus 3x times dy dx. I took the two red underlined terms and factored out dy dx. We'll move the other stuff to the right and so we'll have a 3y minus 2x on the right. Divide by dy dx, and we get dy dx equals 3y minus 2x over 2y minus 3x. Now, for our slope, we want to evaluate dy dx at 1 comma 1, since 1 comma 1 is the point at which we want the slope. So replace y by 1, replace x by 1, same thing in the denominator. And it looks like we're getting a numerator of 1, a denominator of negative 1. It looks like we're getting a slope of negative 1. And by the way, that slope looks good. If you look at our tangent line here, it does look like it'll have a slope of negative 1. Finally, we're ready to substitute into point-slope form. So we have y minus the y value of 1 equals slope of negative 1 times x minus the x value of 1. Then we simply clean up the results. We have y minus 1 equals opposite of x plus 1. Add 1 to both sides, and we get y equals opposite of x plus 2. 
And that's in very good agreement with how our tangent line is looking on the plot. And so again, we used implicit differentiation to find the slope. We evaluated the slope at a point. Then we found the equation of the line tangent to the curve at the point.